Welcome everybody. I'd like to call the Anaheim City Council meeting back to order. So before we start uh, public comments, I just want to say uh, I know there's a lot of um, strong emotions and feelings and passions. Uh, that's all good. That means you care. That means you care about your country. It means you care about your city. Uh, but let me ask uh, that uh, everybody be civil to one another. Uh, the time at the, that microphone is really a sacred time that uh, everyone not interrupt the speakers. Um, this is, uh, um, you know what, we're all in this together. So with that, now is the time for public comments on any agenda items. The city clerk will read a brief decorum statement and will invite those speakers who complete a speaker card to the podium first, followed by speakers who decline to submit a card. Madam Clerk, can you please read the statement and call the first few speakers to the podium? Lou Noble, R. Joshua Collins. Thank you. My name is R. Joshua Collins. I'm an advocate for the homeless here in Anaheim, and uh, I'd like to uh, go ahead and share a scripture with you. I'm also a concerned Christian, of course, for the salvation of souls. And, and 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9-11 through 11 says, Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So I want to encourage everyone to give life to Jesus here, first and foremost, if they haven't already. Um, there is a hell, there is a heaven. God condemns homosexuality. God condemns fornication. God condemns lying. God condemns greed. God condemns Islam. God condemns religions that are against Christianity. Because Jesus died for us. He's our Savior. If you don't want to have Jesus as your Savior, you, you're not going to be saved. There's only one God, one Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I encourage you to give your life to Jesus if you haven't already. Don't be proud and arrogant and fight and shake your fist against God. Give your life to the Lord Jesus before it's too late. Also, I, I am concerned about the, the situation with the homeless still. We've been working to try to get uh, some of these uh, safe zones created for the homeless so they have a safe place to sleep. But still, police are uh, oftentimes taking their property and uh, confiscating, misappropriating their property. Actually, that's a charge that one uh, uh, a woman I know that's homeless, she's six years old, on the streets got that. She had a uh, sh shopping cart, so she got uh, Penal Code Section 485, uh, misappropriation of property. Now, the police are doing the same thing. When they take people's property, the guy goes in the bathroom for 15 minutes at the park, and the police come and take their property from them. Well, that's also robbing people essentially of their property. So why aren't the police being prosecuted for this? Why, why are, are they not being held accountable? That's my concern. But uh, we, we need, like, like another individual said earlier, we need to help, help hold the police accountable. I hope that uh, Anaheim City Council will do more for that. And as a city of kindness, as good Samaritans, I mean, that's what kindness in the Bible you see. That's what a, a real uh, kindness looks like. It's a good Samaritan. If you see someone beat down on the road, homeless, laying on the side of the road, you know, one person might walk by, but the Good Samaritan is going to do something to try to help that person not take their property, give them a ticket for sleeping on the sidewalk or whatever, which a lot of times happens out here. They're sleeping in the park, and they get tickets, and they can't pay these tickets, and now they can make them uh, misdemeanors instead of infractions uh, because of the recent vote. So that's not kind. I don't see that as kindness. I don't agree with any kind of drug use in the parks. I know some of the homeless do that, but some of the people in the houses do drugs too. You know, but we need to uh, find a better tactic to deal with that issue versus taking their property, which is a violation of the Fourth Amendment rights. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> you know, the Bible is, uh, they call it the book of life. And there's nothing under the sun because it's always repeating itself. It's like a vicious circle. And many are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge. They don't research. They don't do their research. And people just fooling them in politics all the time. Proverbs 14 says, One, of the op one who oppresses the poor insults his creator, but whoever shows favor he needs his honor. And, you know, the ordinance that went on here is not just about discriminating against the homeless. I know it went through without even talking about it, but now it's, uh, it's not only, you know, a misdemeanor, but it's oppressing the, the homeless out there that are being, you know, 
treated like criminals at this point. There's no shelter. The armory closed. And there is no safe zones. We've been coming here for the past two years. And the people have to understand that the homeless are dying out there all the time. There's people, veterans, are disabled people that are out there, people that lost their homes or their jobs. And I think at this point, it, I mean, they, the whole media and everything has thrown Bernie Sanders under the bus. Haven't even heard him. It's going to be a shame if he's not nominated because the rest of the politicians, Trump is the oligarchy. And he's just there to make way for Hillary because that's the agenda they have. This is the Illuminati talking, okay? And right now our system is corrupt. Our justice system is so corrupt that we don't have any justice for those who have been killed by the police because the police are protected by their Bill of Rights. Where is the homeless Bill of Rights? Are we going to be discriminated because we look homeless in the park? I, don't, I hate to go to the park now because the police will be right there. They're spending their time looking to see how, the, how they could get the homeless belongings. And this is shameful for our city, a city that calls it city of kindness. And this is what the Bible talks about, how to treat those people. And those people need to be treated right because they're not all criminals, okay? And they're not drug addicts. There's people out there are veterans. We talked in the Orange City Council, and the mayor did something about it there. They're not treating them as they were treating them before at the riverbed. So I expect that maybe you Mr. have a Noble, conscience thank you, sir. Your time is up. and see this through, that we need safe zones. Thank you.
way of storing everything, compact storage, if you believe that. Yeah. Are they throwing clothes and stuff like that? Huh? Are they throwing clothes? Whatever people yeah, can. Yeah, man, they're skipping our stuff, bro. So you they're. Know, they're like animals. Yeah, and no, no, no other way. You know, you have a house. Or... No place to go. No, it's not, it's not our fault, you know. Yeah. Look at that. Is in blue.